recording this. Okay, record. Something that's really helping me is I wrote my goals out, and I actually keep these on the refrigerator. So I look at them all the time, obviously, because they're on the refrigerator. <laughs> so, um, but my goals, and I already shared them with you, 10 new challengers a month, five new working coaches a month, four coaches at Success Club, which I bumped these goals up for Team Cup, um, five coaches on the board. So then I have income goals, I have rank goals, um, and then also I have like just goals for our team. So I'd like to post our own diamond retreat. Shannon does that for us. Um, I'd eventually like to do that. But so I've made income goals. So my income goal for July was 600 a week by the end of July, one star diamond, Brian is stable emerald, four coaches running groups. So I am not at 600 a week. I am not at one star diamond, but I am at diamond and Brian's a stable emerald. So I've got those, but in our push to summit group, we read a book called the 10 X rule and it was a great book. Hey, Heather. Hey. Good to see you. <laughs> but basically like if you guys need an extra kick, that's an awesome book to read. Um, he, the, the whole principle is to, Oh, that's okay. Oh, you're on here twice. I am trying to get off. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I will mute you and just keep going while you figure. Okay. So the whole principle is to 10x your goals and 10x your effort. And so he was saying the difference between average companies and really successful companies is the average ones, when it looks like they're not going to hit a goal, they adjust their goals. But the really successful ones, when it looks like they're not going to hit a goal, they adjust their effort. And so I've really adopted that mentality, and it's helped a lot. Um, but what it started with is just, like, writing these goals down and making them visible. And so last year, Shannon asked me, do you think you can be a five-star elite coach? And I was like, yes, I want to be that. It didn't happen. Why? Because I didn't know what it was, first of all. I was just like, that sounds good. Yeah, I'll try that. I have a year, right? It didn't happen. I had no idea what it, what it even was. Um, so that's, that's the thing. You got to make goals. And then the next step is the plan. So first of all, you have to know what it is you're shooting for and how do you get there. So like, even ridiculous things. I want to be an astronaut. Well, that sounds ridiculous, but figure out what you have to do to get to be an astronaut and it can happen, right? I mean, somebody has to be an astronaut. So this is way easier than that. <laughs> so, um, so that's the first step is identifying what your goals are. So do you guys want to share what your goals are or would you rather not? Am I putting you on? I don't want to put you on the spot. I would like you to share your goals with the group, either with the team, like here, or you could share them on the page. Would you rather just think about them and share them on the page? I know Stacy's shared hers. Mm -hmm. Heather, you want to think? Alex, you want to think? I mean, I haven't really done much with the coaching, so I guess like getting started and at least getting to Emerald would be a good place to start. That's good. I think everyone's goal should be to get to Emerald, except Stacy. I think your goal should be to get to Diamond. <laughs> you have Jenny, who is, like, killing it, and she is going to be your first Emerald, so yeah. you can do it. Yeah, I'm just trying to get back to Emerald. <laughs> yeah, you can do it. You can do it. You just need one coach to get you back to Emerald. Yeah. And Emerald, I, I mean, I know these ranks sound really – unobtainable but they really aren't it's just you break it down what has to happen for you to get there emerald you just need one coach on each leg and they don't even have to be working they can be a discount coach um so the plan what my plan is is i've figured out how many success club points i want to get this month my goal is 30 so you figure 30 points, um, that's 15 challenge packs. They say you get one yes for every two, or one yes out of every 10 invites. So that means I need to invite at least 150 people to get 15 yeses, right? So 
I am going to do, I'm going to, oh, I did share my screen, right? No, I didn't share my screen. I'm going to be doing the go for no challenge. I don't know if you guys have seen this yet. I've posted it before, but it was a while ago. So in this challenge, it explains, um, it gives you a script. I don't like that script. I've had stuff like this sent to me before. I'm trying to reach a goal. Will you sign up? No, that's not why we do what we do. We do what we do to help people. So it's not because we want to reach a goal. But I like this because it got me out of the dreading nose into looking forward to nose because I got to write it on my little box. I don't know if you guys like lists, but... Um, so I don't follow the script in here. I still follow my same scripts. I still get to know people, figure out what they need, and let the conversation go like it's supposed to go. But if I get a no, then I write their name down. And every time I've done this, I've done, I've always hit my goals. I don't know why I don't do it every month because I'm too lazy to go and print it off, basically. And like it's hard to keep the sheet with you because, you know, with the kids, I'm doing stuff on the fly. I don't always have the sheet. I, it's all excuses. But I'm going to print this out five or three times because it's there's 50 no's. And I'm going to do this this month. And what's cool is the month that I did this, the last month I did this was February. Then I had it for March to just go back and follow up with these people. So I will post this in the team page. And then it has your yeses down here. So for every 50 um invites you should get like five yeses right um so what you should do is figure out what's your goal how many success club points do you want to earn this month how many invites do you have to send out in order to hit that and then break it down per day so i just on average send 20 to 30 invites per day um, I go through my HubSpot and I know I, I've shown you guys HubSpot before, but I have every single person in my Facebook and now Instagram in my HubSpot and I have them in my tasks and I need to move this over. Okay, there we go. And there's a lot of red because I am behind like always, but I just have in here to like or comment on their stuff. And as I'm going through liking and commenting and keeping up with people, I send them invites. Um, if I also check my messages to make sure I haven't already sent them an invite. And that's the last thing I sent them. Cause I don't want to just be like, Hey, join this challenge. Hey, join this push up group. Hey, did you think about coaching? I want to like keep a relationship going with them. But most of my time I spend talking to people and building those relationships. Um, and I think that's the part that most people struggle with is you don't want to be salesy. That's where the building relationships comes into play. And so I posted this inviting script, which these scripts are really good because they just help you with the steps and what to say next, but always, rewrite them to help or to make it sound more like you so like this is Kara's she wrote she wrote it but I thought it was good so I've just kind of redone it hey their name how are you um and then I say something about whatever it is we were talking about last or about like what was going on in their lives you're on my mind because I'm planning this health and fitness challenge just a couple spots left um so she had originally written, I think it would be perfect for you. I don't like writing that because I don't know if it would be perfect for them. You, we have to find out if it would be perfect for them first. And so that's the first step. And then it just goes through all the steps with example questions on what you can ask to see if this would be good for them and to dig deeper. So this, these questions are the most important part. Asking, what's a typical day of eating like for you? What have you... Um, had success with in the past. Why are you interested? What are your goals? Um, and you should go back and forth with questions like three or four times before you ever start talking about why a challenge pack would be good. So then she'd written this out. Once they say, yes, I, that sounds good. And you know a lot about them. Like you, this is really good because it outlines exactly what 
a challenge group is, what they can expect, and why you think it would be good for them. So you can't really fill that out unless you ask all of those questions. Um, and so I think a lot of times I was making a mistake when I first started of they would say, yes, I'm interested. And I would just go to step four and word vomit. This is what a challenge group is and why it's so good and why you like it. No, you got to definitely do the questions first because if somebody says, yes, I'm interested and they get back like three paragraphs. <laughs> They're going to be scared, like, I'm sorry I asked. <laughs> so I would definitely, like, so my plan is to do the go for no using these inviting scripts, not the go for no ones, because in the go for no, it says, hey, I'm doing this challenge. I want to get 100 people in a group. Um, I did do that for Sean Week just because it was free, and I wanted to get as many people in there as possible. I didn't feel like it was cheesy to say I wanted a lot of people in a free group. They had... They, but this, if I'm asking them to commit to buying something, I'm not going to say I want to try to get a bunch of people in. Goal is to help as many people as possible. And so the national wake up call was really good. Um, so please, what I did is I just listened to it and I kept my post up and I just wrote down things that I thought were good. So when you guys have a chance, you can either listen to the call or, um, read through my, did I not put it in here? Oh, here it is. Read through my takeaways. But I just wanted to quickly go through those. She said, with your post, so that's the inviting part that I just talked about. Now you wanna think about your um, posting. So first you wanna make sure you're consistent. And then she had this list of questions that I thought were really good. What can I share today that will inspire someone? What can I share from my past? So I've been doing this for two years now. I'm in a much different place than I was back when I started. Always remember to talk to the person that you were when you started um, because that's who you're wanting to attract. You're wanting to help the people. In my case, I'm wanting to help the people that have no confidence, that don't like working out, that love to eat chocolate and can't see themselves living without it. That's the person that I need to be talking to, not the person I am now who knows that I can go without eating chocolate every day. Um, are my pictures scroll stopping? I've done a lot of work on trying to make my pictures better because they are pretty bad for a while. <laughs> um, how can I build relationships and trust through my posts? So they want, so like, you're a real person. Tell your real story. So do you want to keep posting like, for example, I was posting just a picture of me working out with what workout I did. Boring. That was so boring. And I did it for so long. Now I've changed it. I'm listening to personal development. That, that's another thing you guys should be doing, listening to personal development. And I post my top takeaway. That's been good because it's adding value. I want to think add value um, so that people, like, are you, think about, are you someone that you would want to follow? I feel like I'm just word vomiting all over you guys, but I'm recording so you can go back and ask questions. Um, so she's just they're talking about making sure you're consistent with your posts. Um, tip two, do whatever it takes. So like, and I'm not going to read through all of these. You guys can read through them as you have time. Um, so to back up, so we've talked about setting goals, making a plan. First, though, before any of that, focus on your own journey. So think about where are you coming into the Team Cup? Where I'm coming in is out of July, where I was really lax with my food. I did not stick to my program. I was working out every day, almost, but not with my program. So I'm, I'm coming in not that great. So that's where I'm starting. I started last week getting back on track. Because we have to lead from the front, be a product of the product, and show people that, that you can do this. This is a lifestyle. And then also, if you fall off, it's okay. This is how I'm going to get back on track. So I always, always post when I mess up, when I'm struggling, and how I'm going to get back on track. So people see it's not just like this magical unicorn fitness thing that they could never do, but they see, oh, people struggle, they struggle, I can do it. So, 
I feel like I'm just talking way too much. I have so many things I'm thinking about, and it doesn't help that Jack uh, fought bedtime up until seven minutes before this call, so I don't <laughs> have time to gather my thoughts like I want to do. But because I have like notes squirreled away, and all these you can see my tabs, all these different places, and I didn't have time to organize it. But I'm gonna stop and let you guys ask questions. What do you think so far? Any questions or is it good? Should I keep going? Oh, thumbs up, good, okay. So I think because you guys aren't quite ready to share your goals right now, that's what we need to do this week is start with your goals um, and post those in our team cup group. And even if you're not, so if you're watching the recording, you're not part of the team cup, that's okay. Still make goals for August. And I think we should post those by, what, Friday? We can have our goals posted. And I wrote in this post, this is a good post. What are your goals? Set high goals, big, scary goals, 10x your goals. Because if you fall short of a 10x goal, you're going to be less disappointed if you fall short of just like a regular goal. So set goals for how many people do you want to help? Because that's what this is all about. How many new challengers do you want? How many success club points do you want to get? What do you want your rank to be? What do you want your income to be? And then personal goals. Where do you want to be with your own health and fitness? Um, so, and I would even suggest writing it and putting it somewhere where you can see. I even put, I don't know how many of you guys are doing shift shop, but I put some of these goals on my markers so that I could see them every morning when I'm doing my workout. Um, so there's that power hour. So one of the things on the national wake up call that you suggested was doing a live power hour with our team. What do you guys, would you guys want to do a live power hour? Maybe next week instead of a team call, we just did a power hour together. I like that idea too. What just a power, hour? a power hour is so a lot of coaches, um, say you can do this business in an hour a day. Um, it depends on your goals. <laughs> if your goals are really high, I don't think it's possible to do it in an hour a day. But if you like have dedicated, focused one hour where you're not scrolling your Facebook, but you're going through all the things that are going to get you um, the most traction in your business, that's what a power hour is. And so in the past, like our team does them all the time. I'll have to post when the next one is. But basically the the coaches that are leading it will give you assignments and they'll give you five minutes. So go check in with your challengers. Go through and like and comment on their stuff. And then the next five minutes is go through your friends list and invite five people to something. And then the next assignment is like um, – go and follow up with five people that you had been talking to and they've gone silent and they give you ideas on how to do it. So it's basically just leading you through what your daily power hour should look like. So we could do that. I think that would be good. Maybe next week we could do that instead of just a regular team call. Um, are you guys doing personal development? Do you have a book you're reading or listening to? Yeah. What are you doing, Stacy? I'm going to start the compound effect. Yeah, I have that Probably in the... Week. That's good. I, I saw it. I know you have it on there, but I like the hard copy, so I ordered one and come in next week. Yay, that's exciting. I know I like to feel the book, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I'd like to compile a list of really good ones. So that's the other thing. When I first started coaching, I rolled my eyes at personal development. I don't have time for that. I would rather be like working on a challenge group script. Personal development is where it's at. All the top coaches, they say the same three things over and over. Every single top coach. You must do personal development. You, ha you can't fill from an empty cup. I love that phrase. It's very true. You have to be coming from a positive place in order to help other people be positive. Um, so that's one thing. The other thing is um, they didn't have a plan B. So 
they like didn't have a backup that they were going to fall back on. They, this was it. This is what they decided. And this is if you're going all in, but this is what they decided was going to be their thing that opened up their life of freedom. And so that's kind of where I am now. Well, that is where I am now. Um, and then the last thing, I don't know if everyone in here is a Christian, but I've noticed that all the top co coaches are Christians. They talk about God all the time. So I thought that was interesting. But um, so personal development is so important. And a lot of them start their day. So I've started doing that. I do my workout, but I mute it as long as I understand what they're doing. Shift shop, I've not been able to mute it because I have to listen to his instructions. But I listen to personal development and it's made a huge difference in my attitude and my positivity, the things I'm sharing, and then just the things I have to say to my challengers and to people I'm talking to. It's been, I've been doing it since January and I've been noticing a difference. Um, until I went to Summit and was like realized I was taken down about 15 pegs on how well I was doing with confidence. So... That's my next tip. Think about what you need the help, help with the most and then find a book on that. So like the compound book is a great one. I think everyone should read that one. But don't just read a book because that's what the group is reading or that's one that people are raving about. If it has nothing to do with something you need help with, like right now they're doing a training in uh, Melanie's group, The Miracle Morning. It's supposed to help you get your mornings under control. I'm not going to read that because I've been doing my mornings for a long time. I need more help with leadership. So I'm going to read um, Leaders Eat Last. That's what I want to work on this month is being a better leader. So don't, that's the other thing. Don't like, don't go, don't do what everyone else is doing. Think about what do you need help in the most and then work on that. So this is kind of the team cup is kind of like a challenge group, but for your business. So the biggest part of the challenge group is accountability. It helps you stay on track. Would you guys want some kind of form of accountability for you working on your business? Like I'm in a success pot, pod right now with some other coaches and we've decided we're gonna post our um, business activity tracker every day. Um, I haven't done it yet, <laughs> but we've decided that's what we're going to do for the month of August, just to hold each other accountable that we're doing it. We wouldn't have to do something like that, but what about, and we wouldn't have to do it every day, but would you guys want to do weekly check-ins saying how you're doing with your invites, how you're doing with talking to coaches, follow-ups? I like that. Absolutely. All right. That sounds good. So um, how about um, Fridays? Or yeah, or how about Thursdays? Because that's when the all the stuff happens with Beachbody anyway. I'll post mine first. I'll get the ball rolling and then you guys can comment on the post. I'll post how I've done for the week. Okay. So last thing I want to talk about is if you guys are wanting to like build this as a business, need to start talking about coaching more. And so I know that I've had people say before, well, coaching hasn't done that much for me. Like you're not a Melanie Mitro. You're not a millionaire because of coaching. You haven't gone all these trips because of coaching. Um, and so now I have a few trips. I have one free trip under my belt. Um, but before that, I like, I felt the same way. Well, I'm not, I mean, I'm not a millionaire, so I can't really talk about coaching. Well, it's not about that. Think about what coaching has done for you. So before that, I got that Punta Cana trip. What coaching has done for me is it's forced me to stay in this. Like I, as much as it makes me feel bad to say, being healthy for my family isn't as strong as being healthy for my business because at the end of the day, if it's 4 a.m. and I have to work out, my sons are not going to know if I'm getting up at 4 a.m. to work out. It'd be very easy to keep sleeping. You guys will know. And that's what makes me get up at 4 a.m. Because I have to check in. That's what coaching's done for me. It's kept me in this. So I talk about that a lot. So you think, what's coaching done for you? It's also helped me pay for my Shakeology, my grocery bills, um, our car insurance. Like, it's helped us pay for as 
we've gone more into it. It's helped us pay for more stuff, but it doesn't have to be about money. Um, coaching has helped me. It has helped me with confidence. Like I would never have been talking to any of you if it wasn't for coaching because I always just silently, I canceled Facebook. And then when I was on it, I was silent. I was in my own isolated bubble. Coaching has forced me to make friends and I'm loving it. I have conversations with people who are not too, and it's so nice. <laughs> so th go through the list of things that's done for you. Um, I I'm outgoing now. I've never been outgoing. So I talk to people like I know them at the library. Um, so I would make a list of all the ways that coaching has helped you so far and be creative with that list. It doesn't have to be about money. It doesn't have to be about like rank or any of that. Think about what coaching has done for you. Deanna, she's not on the call right now, but she said, she sent me the post. That's where I did Transformation Tuesday for her. And she sent me a post about how um, she's on track and she's seeing results. And she said something about how she thinks it's coaching, that extra layer of accountability. That's what it's done for me. That's the biggest thing. So I talk about that a lot. And then you guys have an opportunity. So every single Wednesday with that success pod, like those coaches, we host a coach sneak peek every single Wednesday at nine o'clock Eastern standard time. So if you have any coach prospects, you can put them in that group and we'll go live every single Wednesday and talk about the opportunity. And if you want, you could take a topic if you have a coach that's come, you wouldn't have to, but if you wanted to, if you wanted to step outside your comfort zone, you could take a topic and talk about whatever the topic is. And we go through all the normal stuff, like what is coaching? How do you find challengers? How much, how do you make money? Um, like stuff like that. How do you sign up? Um, but I would make a goal to get a, one person in there every week. And so we put it in a closed, put everyone in a closed group. And so if you add someone in there, they stay in there. And if they don't say yes, or if they're not ready, they'll be in there the next week when we go live again and the next week. So um, that's something I would definitely take advantage of if you're looking to build a team. So... Do you guys want to set a team goal for points? We have two teams because we have 10 coaches, which is so exciting. You guys want to, so to get the tier one prize, we need 30 points. Um, to be honest, I don't really care about the prizes. I don't know if you guys care about the prizes. To get the, the sleeveless sweatshirt, we need 75 points total. <laughs> so we could set a team goal. We could think about that for success club points. Um, to get the individual goal, you just need SC5, which everyone should have a goal of hitting at least SC5, right? <laughs> Lots of information. Any questions or suggestions? No? Well, so homework. Make those goals. Stacy, you've posted your goals. Your goals look awesome. You kind of posted like the list of goals for August. Yeah. And, and I would also think about not just for August, but think about, so this is my through December goals. And we're just in the middle right here. But I, I have my overall goal and I've broken it down just like with your health and fitness into smaller goals. This makes it more manageable. This is how you make your plan. Um, and if you have an income goal, I've always been really like, not ashamed, but like feel bad about having an income goal. But that's ridiculous. It's okay to have income goals. Um, so I finally have set an income goal and I figured out what it takes to get to the income goal. So if you guys want help with that, I can help you with that too. So, all right, I think we should post goals by Friday. And then who else wants to do the go for no challenge with me? Anyone? <laughs> I'll try it. All right, awesome, Christine. I do. I.
did it before a couple months ago in some group. I don't remember now, and it's very effective. It is effective. It gets you excited about people saying no, which is so weird. Right, because you so, can totally get people to say no. That's not hard. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It does make talking and inviting easier. It does. So do you guys, I would also make a goal for how many people you want to invite each day. Um, oh, that's the other thing. I wanted to talk about just my, so you have to have something to invite to. And of course, oh, I've signed out about a million times, which is the problem there. Oops. So we have our August calendar. I know I already posted it. We have our challenge group is starting on August 7th. That's the preseason. So you guys can invite to that all through next week. Um, the cutoff to invite to that is um, August 12th, right? That's the Sunday before. So I always invite all the way up until the month, like the Sunday before we start our workouts. Okay, so my calendars, of course it's like going to be weird. Oh, I think it's because I'm in the wrong email account. I'm just going to look at this calendar because I remember when it is. All right, so 7th is preseason. The 14th is when the workouts start. Um, the 21st is when I'm doing a free group. It's back to school lunches and a Shakeology shake off. So I'm going to have them buy the Shakeology sampler. I've never done one of those before and just go through recipes and the benefits. Um, but if they don't want to buy the Shakeology sampler, they can still be in it and get the free lunch or the easy lunch ideas. And then the next challenge group preseason will start on August 28th. So that's kind of how I've set my calendar up. You guys already know that because I posted it in our team page. Um, but if you guys want to do your own groups, you can. You don't have to. You can always invite to mine. You know that. Or if you want to just do one, you don't have to do like a whole calendar of groups. Um, always start it two weeks after you decide to start inviting to it so you have time to get people in there. I like to do a free group right before a challenge group because I invite, it's really easy to get people into a free group because you're adding all this value. I'm doing back to school lunches because I'm getting back to school and I thought it'd be a good time to do the shake off. Um, and if you're in Michigan, the 27th, I am hosting a toddler, or the 26th, I'm hosting a toddler dance party where I'll be serving daily sunshine if you guys have any toddlers that want to come. Or if you know anyone with toddlers that want to come, and that'd be a good time to let them try it. But that's kind of how I've planned my month. So do any of you want to run your own free groups or your own challenges this month? I'm thinking about running another healthy dessert recipe share free group. So. That's a good idea. You could run that. Um, so if you don't want to run your own challenge, I would run that like on the 14th or the 21st so that you can funnel all those people into the challenge group starting on the 28th. And then I'll, I kind of try to plan it so that the success club points will hopefully hit before the month ends. But, so one of the things that I was talking about with my success pod in the month of July, every single one of us struggled, and we were so focused on Success Club points because we were doing this push to try to hit Success Club before Summit that we, like, weren't, it was more about the points than it was about helping people, and every one of us struggled. And we realized that. Like, I think about when was I most successful. When I first started this, and my very first, I started in May and June, of that year, I had 12 success club points, and then in July, I had 27 success club points. That's the most success club points I've ever had. I think about what I was doing. I didn't know anything about rank. I didn't know anything about success club. All I knew is that I did the 21-day fix. I felt awesome, and I wanted everyone else to do it with me, and that's the attitude I had. But the months where I'm focused on, I have to hit success club, I'm stressing out because the boys won't let me work and I'm not getting my points. Those are the months where I always struggle and I barely scrape by. 
So if you keep your focus helping people, that's when you, it's kind of like if you keep your focus eating healthy and exercising and being healthy, the weight is a natural byproduct. It's the same thing with Success Club. If you keep the focus helping people, then the Success Club and the rank and all the income, all of that is a natural byproduct of doing those things. And so when I did that, and you guys could do this because you're still in your warm market, um, I went through every single person in my friends list and sent them an invite. Hey, I just got done doing this group. I feel awesome. You should do it with me. I'm running my own. That's how I invited people. And I had like 22 people. Christine, you were in my first group. Um, I didn't make anyone buy anything, so it was really easy to get people in. But I was shocked that people did it. But try to keep like... I know because we're doing the team cup, it's hard to keep the numbers out of it. We're making like putting importance on your goals, but try to keep your focus helping people. And that's when you'll be most successful. So I will stop rambling because it's going to cut me off soon. And we always get cut off. So do you guys feel good about your first week with the team cup? Do you have a clear plan on where to go? Okay, Stacy's saying yes. How are you doing, Becky? I saw you on mute. Yeah, I don't really have a plan yet, but I'm going to work on that when we're done, and I will post my goals in the group, like you said. Awesome. And that helps and if, you stay more accountable, too, because, you know, everybody can help help work towards other all of our goals together. Yes, we're and that's what Team Cup is, working towards your goals together. And I think the weekly check-ins will help. We have less than a minute. It's going to cut us off. Thank you guys so much for coming. And post your questions, because I know I just kind of were vomited and threw a ton of information at you. So if you have any questions, make sure to post them. Um, I hope you guys have a good night. Thanks so much. Yeah, yeah, no problem. See you in the group. Bye. Bye. Bye.